Hello, I am Dr. Bapuji from Hyderabad, Chairman of Centre for Integrated Medicine. Uh, diabetes. I know blood sugar levels are high and people are worried. Uh, they are going from pillar to post, getting sugar tests done. Uh, they are erratic, they are taking medication, they are taking insulin. Uh, diabetic specialist doesn't spend time. So, lot of uh, stress is going on in general public. The moment they see marginal blood sugars, uh, doctors are declaring them as pre-diabetic, potential diabetic and uh, see when you uh, reduce the borders, definitely few more people will come into diabetic category. I would uh, like to share with you something. WHO in 1998 uh, decided that 140 fasting blood sugar or below is considered as normal. 1998. In 2005, American Diabetic Association has influenced WHO. They said uh, upper limit is 126. 100 to 126 is the normal range for or 80 to 126 is normal range for fasting blood sugar. What happened was 20% of world population became diabetic. Just reducing to 126. And 2012, again American Diabetic Association has influenced the World Health Organization. They reduced it to 70 to 100 or 110 some laboratories give. So 60% Indians have become diabetic. So 60% Indian diabetic, uh, India is the um, uh, diabetic capital, capital of the world. India is sitting on uh, uh, volcano of diabetes or atom bomb of diabetes. These are all sensational journalism and only doesn't serve the purpose. It scares the people. Scares the people. You'll be surprised to know that my grandparents and their parents, they never took, they never took blood pressure readings and they never got sugar tests and they still live on seven, uh, 70 years old, 75 years old, 80 years old. They were ambulatory and all that. But not monitoring this uh, uh, resulted in, I was observing, Majority of elderly people, either they died of sudden heart attack, that's good for the patient and as well as family, or 70% uh, uh, people were bedridden due to paralytic stroke. In those days, joint families were there, they could take care. Today, nuclear families, what happens to father or mother who is bedridden? Husband and wife are working, children are going to school or college, who will take care of them? We don't have hospitals or uh, centers to take care of these people. And NGOs are running but they are not committed and then even though money is uh, being paid by NRA children, we don't have proper uh, elderly people care centers. So under these circumstances, sugar levels, we have to monitor annual checkup. Uh, I will give you in some other video. What is the normal sugar level? Fasting. Fasting means the previous night you should finish off your dinner by 8 p.m. And next day 8, 8 a.m. not even tea or coffee in the morning. You can take water. Give the sample. That is the correct way to give fasting sample. Postprandial, uh, you know, uh, up to 200 we consider it as normal though the laboratories give uh, 100 to 160. Now, HbA1c has come into picture. This has been introduced by American Diabetic Association. They are saying, you know, uh, if it 5.5 it, if it, is normal, non-diabetic, if it crosses 6, so you are potential diabetic. If you are 6.5 percent, you know, you are diabetic. All this has created confusion in general public during the last five years. And people are really uh, psychologically suffering, running from pillar to post. And our doctors also, they are putting them on medication. And uh, it is outrageous prescriptions I am seeing. Remember, whenever your sugar level is marginally high, 
Change the diet. Eat two times cooked food, one time fruits and salad. And in two times cooked food, again, uh, you can eat liberal rice, no problem. South Indians are scared to eat rice. They immediately start eating wheat, which they are not used to. And now it has been proven beyond doubt that gluten containing uh, wheat or rava or maida is detrimental to beta cells of pancreas which secret insulin. It has been, uh, uh, scientific uh, world has decided. So gluten containing things have to be avoided. Now what happens is South Indians, they suddenly switch over to wheat, which they are not used to. They eat with reluctance, they eat with dislike. And North Indians are, cannot survive without wheat. Pulkas, parathas, bat, uh, bhaturas, puris. This is North Indian uh, prevalence you know, as far as dietary habit is concerned. Remember, in uh, uh, whenever the sugar is marginally high, stop gluten containing uh, wheat and uh, take two cooked meals a day. Third time you can have fruits and salads. No in between eating. No in between eating. At all. Today the in between eating is the worst thing in lifestyle management which is happening in present generation and younger generation and millennials and uh, you know the much younger people also are they don't realize they will realize when they cross 30 so remember for life uh, diabetes is a lifestyle disease it requires dietary discipline timings are important and sleep is important exercises are important and medication if there is a strong family history of diabetes parents, grandparents, maternal uncles, paternal uncles and aunts. If there is a strong history, that's not your choice because you could not have chosen your parents. In that case, start on mild medication, request to your family doctor. Don't go to diabetic specialists. I'm seeing outrageous prescriptions. And diabetes, type 1 diabetes is uh, genetic. They have to take insulin lifelong. And also follow diet and exercise if they want to survive for 100 years. And type 2 diabetes, non-insulin dependent diabetes. Usually after the age of 25 who develop diabetes. And uh, whatever it is, they should start with mild oral medication. And diet and exercise are the only way to manage diabetes. If you manage diabetes properly, one can live 100 years. There is no problem. Thank you.